Close your eyes and bring the mind to the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. And even though we're paying attention to the breath, we're doing this for the sake of the mind. As the Buddha said, the mind comes before everything else. Everything we experience comes from the actions of the mind. It's not like we're simply on the receiving end. We're going out there looking for things, shaping the present moment. And so you want to make sure you shape it well. So you've got to get the mind under control to stay when you want it to stay, to move when you want it to move. So right now you're going to have it stay with the breath. And of course, if you simply tell it to stay, but don't give it any reasons, then it's going to wander off. So you've got your reasons, both in terms of what the long-term benefits will be. And also you can make the breath really comfortable. And that gives you a reason to want to stay right here, because you can make the present moment comfortable. It's a good place to stay, a good place to settle in. And the mind will feel less inclined to want to wander off. That way, when you get it under your control, then you can get it to do the things you want it to do. Bad things come up in life, and you can learn how to deal with them and not suffer. Good things come up, and you can learn how to deal with them and not get complacent, which would lead to more suffering down the line. Then you begin to realize you have lots of choices. The mind is acting on different intentions, and you want to be able to see when an intention comes up, where is this going to go? Otherwise, it's just like getting on a bus without asking, which bus line is this? Just any bus that comes past, you get on. You want to look at the sign that they have in the front of the bus, and sometimes it's going to be hidden. Turns out that not all the buses in the mind are honest. But if you get more and more experience, you begin to recognize, okay, this is a thought that's based on greed, and this one is based on lust, and this one is based on aversion, and you know you don't want to go with them. And you have the choice not to go, because you've got a better place to stay. If you're simply standing out in the cold on the side of the street, you will go for any bus that comes by. When you've got the breath, it's like you're staying inside. A nice warm place when it's cold outside, a cool place inside when it's hot outside. In other words, you can create a home for the mind right here. And then when the buses go past, you don't feel so compelled to jump on anything that comes past. You can choose. And if you don't see any bus that goes where you want to go, you can stay right here. You're perfectly fine. So it takes some time every day to train the mind to stay when you want it to stay, to move when you want it to move. That way you take this power that you have to create your life and you use it for a good purpose.